Hey y'all, I just wanted to uh, jump on here and talk about something today that uh, we rarely talk about as YouTubers. And I think it's so important that I really wanted to do a video just entirely about this. So I want to talk about how you can help your favorite YouTubers. So how do you support your favorite YouTube channels? There are many, many ways, and so I'm going to go through just a few of them. I'm sure that I'm even leaving off some, but these are just a few ways of you, that you can support your favorite YouTubers, and I hope that you will uh, implement these if you're not already. So the first way is to watch. So watching our videos is crucial for the success of a YouTube channel. Um, I don't think a lot of people even know this, but uh, I think a lot of people uh, think that if a YouTube channel exists, that it's making money and that it could not be farther from the truth. So um, a YouTube channel has to have at least 1,000 subscribers and have to have they have to have 4,000 hours, not minutes, hours of view time in order to be monetized so like for our channel what that means is like we are just over a thousand subscribers which is awesome I am so thankful to everyone who watches our channel and has hit that subscribe button button and um, but we are currently not monetized because we have not reached our 4,000 hours of view time yet. So what this means is when we put out videos, we are completely dependent on people watching them from start to finish. And that will increase the time that, uh, that our, our channel is being watched and therefore increase our watch hours. So, um, so that's so important just to watch the videos watch them from start to finish um, another thing that people don't understand are when when they are monetized when a channel is monetized and making money they've hit that 4,000 hours of view time and they've hit that 1,000 subscriber count that when ads are placed on their channel um, I know a lot of you will see them as when you first uh, turn on a video there there will be an ad at least one ad played it is very important for you to watch that ad from start to finish if you are wanting to patronize that YouTube channel. That is how they make ad money. Um, essentially, that is how they get paid to do a YouTube channel, if that makes sense. Um, I know you think that just by having an ad on their video means that they're making money, but it's not true. The longer you watch that ad, and I, I have made it a habit since finding that out. I have made it a habit when I get on YouTube to watch um, my favorite channels. I will definitely never skip that ad. I will always watch that ad. I don't care how long it is. I will always watch that ad from start to finish because I want to support people who are working hard on these channels because it is a lot of hard work. I can attest to that. Um, the second thing you can do is like like those um, those videos that you're watching and comment on those videos any kind of engagement that YouTube videos get just means that YouTube pushes them in front of more people they make them more visible to more people um, there's just a farther reach the more engagement a video or a channel gets they can reach more people that way a share a video I've done this many many times my friend Jess from Roots and Refuge puts out some amazing devotional videos and I love them and so I'm constantly sharing them with people I'm either sharing them on my personal Facebook page or I'm sending them in a message to somebody um, or I'm texting them to my husband or whatever um, when I see something that I love on YouTube and I want other people to see it's just like when you're on social media um, like on Facebook and you want to share a post onto your personal page it's just like that it lets YouTube know hey this is this is share worthy so this is good content and we need to put this in front of more people so uh, that really helps as well 
use the Amazon affiliate links. So now I'm going to start talking about some things that your YouTube, your favorite YouTube channels will have in their descriptions, um, on their videos, on every single video. I want you, I'm challenging you right now to go and check those descriptions out. I know it's very easy just to watch a video and head on to the next one, but there's a lot of information and a lot of ways to support your favorite YouTube channel just in the description of those videos. So if you will click the uh, little arrow and it'll show you more information on that video under the video. Um, one of those things that they will list usually is an affiliate link for Amazon. And it is just a way for, um, for us to earn a small commission on any purchases you make on Amazon. So what this means is, and I think a lot of people don't understand this either, uh, you don't have to go and purchase what they're selling. So I just got done making an essential oil video um, for uh, hand soap. And I said in the video, I'm going to put a link to purchase these bottles on Amazon in the description if you want to purchase some for yourself. That does not mean you have to go and purchase those bottles. What it does mean is I have put an affiliate link uh, because I have a relationship with Amazon where if I use a link to for someone to purchase something on their website then they'll give me a little bit of a commission but like I said you don't have to go and actually buy the product that is recommended as long as you click through with that Amazon link you can search on Amazon all day long buy books buy shampoo buy what toilet paper whatever you need to buy for up to 24 hours after you click my link I get a commission off of it it doesn't matter what it is you can go on there and buy a fancy camera you can go on there and buy a car I don't know if you can buy cars on Amazon but you know what I'm saying you can go buy whatever you want to on Amazon within 24 hours of clicking my little link and I'll earn a commission on it that's pretty cool that's a great way and I know um, there are many YouTube channels who don't depend on their ad revenue for their income. They depend on those affiliate sales. So that's a great way of supporting your favorite YouTube channels. Um, another link that you might see in the description is a wish list. So some of your channels, and we have done this also, uh, will go on Amazon and they'll create a shared wish list, meaning anybody can view that wish list and anyone can purchase something off of that wish list. It does not mean you have to ship it. All it does is say, hey, this channel is in need of these certain items. They've put these on the wish list. These are things that they would love to further their, as far as we go, further our homestead, further our channel, any kind of equipment that we might need that we haven't purchased for ourselves yet. That's another way of supporting them just by going on there and, say, and um, purchasing something from their wish list. It will get sent directly to them. You don't have to do a thing other than buy it. So that's pretty cool. It'll get sent to their P.O. box or wherever they've set up for it to, um, to go. So you can also support your favorite YouTube channels financially through uh, a program called Patreon. Uh, if they have one, we actually do not have a Patreon, but some people have them and, um, and it's just a way of, uh, it's kind of a membership site. So it's just a way of saying, I support your channel. I want to see your channel grow. I'm going to contribute financially. And usually you get a little compensation for that in the form of merchandise or content or something of that nature. Um, we have a PayPal link in our description. So if you want to just contribute financially to our channel, you don't want anything in return. Um, you don't want to buy anything on a wish list or anything like that. You can just actually go to our PayPal and just send money that way and that just helps us to be able to purchase the things on our wish list that we are needing for our farm or for our home or uh, for our channel just to uh, to help our channel grow um, and and provide you more quality content another way you can support your favorite YouTube channel is by following them on social media so um, most YouTubers already have established Instagram accounts, Facebook business pages, Facebook groups, um, Twitter accounts, 
Pinterest accounts. I mean, lots of different social media platforms that we are all using. And it always helps us out. If, you're, if you can go over to those, um, to those platforms and give us a follow, start talking to us on there, commenting, liking, sharing, all the things that you do on our YouTube platform, you can also do on all of our social media platforms. And that also helps increase our reach on those platforms. Therefore, they're sending more people to our YouTube channel because more people are able to see us on social media and just on the internet as a whole. Another way you can support us is by purchasing our products or services. I know several of our peers in the homesteading um, niche are selling um, services in the form of uh, membership services. So this is something that we've tossed around also and I, I would not be surprised if this didn't come in the very near future but we have some friends who have membership sites where you pay a monthly or a yearly fee and you are able to receive exclusive content from these channels things that they don't put out on YouTube and um, things that are beneficial to you if you're already following them you obviously think that they have some valuable information for you so this is going to be valuable information um, that you're going to get that's exclusive to their members so check those out if you've got some um, if you've got some favorite youtubers who have a membership site that would be a great way to support that channel as well um, for us because we do not have a membership site yet um, we sell products we sell farm and country related graphic t-shirts mostly but we also have hats and mugs and pillows and all kinds of stuff on our website and we would so appreciate your support by going to farmlifeoutfitters.com which is our retail site our online e-commerce site and uh, purchasing something from us that also helps us that is an income for us that is how we support our families so that would be awesome of you to go and support us by buying something from your favorite YouTube channel. Last but not least, word of mouth. There is nothing more powerful. Before we started doing YouTube, we had a growing Instagram, Facebook account with our products that we were selling, with our t-shirts that we sold. And that's continuing to grow. We are so thankful to the Lord for blessing our, um, our business and just continuing to grow it every year. Um, but I really contribute a lot of that to word of mouth. People, once people start talking, I mean, there is no greater testimony than a neighbor telling you, you should go check out so-and-so's channel because they have a lot of stuff that you'd want to see on there, a lot of information that's valuable, a lot of entertainment. Um, and I know this is a, this, we're living in a day and age where a lot of people don't have TV, like they don't have regular cable or satellite. They watch YouTube, which is what, which is really the case for our family. We don't even have a TV in our home. We watch YouTube if we watch anything. So it is so powerful just to tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbors that you love a certain channel and that you want to support them. And, um, there is no greater way than just by telling people about us. So um, I hope you've gotten some ideas. This list is not exhaustive, so you can probably come up with more ways of supporting, um, supporting your favorite YouTube channel. And if you'll comment on this video and let me know if you think of some more, then I might do a future video adding those on. That would be great. Uh, but for now, this is it. And we so thank you for supporting our channel and the channels that you love.